everyone, it's Tiberius the Queer and Chaotic Crafter. I want to start by saying I have no idea what I'm doing here. I am doing the best guesstimation that I can to make one of those circle envelope pocket things. Uh, I hope you guys know what I'm trying to say there. <laughs> um... I, I can't remember what they're called, and I actually have no idea how to make them. I just, I saw one on Pinterest, and I was like, well, I gotta make this. But I didn't, there weren't instructions on how to make it. I don't even remember who posted it. I've also seen other junk journalers uh, use this in their, uh, in their journals, but I've never seen a tutorial on how to make them. So I'm just, I'm doing my best guess of how you make them. And at first, I thought I needed to measure it out. Uh, but then I realized I could just fold it into place. And I folded it uh, four times. And then two more times after that. Uh, for a total of six times, I folded it. And then once I had it folded, I cut the little uh, triangles that you'll see in a minute. Uh, but I, I cut the little spaces that were left so it could be like an envelope envelope. And I don't think I was supposed to do that. I'm probably going to look up an actual tutorial after this and maybe try again. Uh, you know, with actually knowing what I'm doing this time. Um, I messed up a lot making this. It was very frustrating. And I'm, I sped up the footage because, uh, one, I go so slow it makes me angry. And two, it would just, there would just be so much for you to watch. Originally this video was like 35 minutes long. And I feel like that's just, that's too long for such a short one little thing, you know? Um... But yeah, I cut out the little uh, edges to make like a corner here and uh, so I could fold it in. Um, yeah, again, just completely guessing, going in completely blind, trying to figure out uh, what I'm doing. But um, just an update. Uh, I don't know if you saw my previous video where, uh, it didn't record and that was really annoying. Um, but this is, I made this right after that and I kept checking every five minutes to make sure the camera was in fact recording, uh, because that was really embarrassing. I, and I did such a good video too. Like I didn't even voice over it i did it live and i moved so quick and well i felt like i moved quick i didn't actually you know watch myself to see if i moved quick but like I did a great video and i made such nice snippet rolls too um man i'm still upset about that i'm so angry i had to quit what i was doing for uh like a good couple hours and then come back to crafting which that very rarely happens because crafting is what I do to de-stress. So it really threw me through a loop. Um, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to put like two buttons, you know, where they do the thing, where they wrap the thing around the thing. I'm trying to do that, but I couldn't figure out how that would be done without making it like a double layer button. I promise I'm going to look up a tutorial later, but uh, I feel like this is at least fun, a little fun for you guys. <laughs> it's not fun for me. It wasn't fun for, well, I guess it was a little fun for me, but, um, you know, I got to keep it chaotic. I can't, I can't know what I'm doing. That would defeat the purpose. <laughs> I got to be, I got to be confused at all times. That's, that's how this works. I didn't make the rules. Well, I did make the rules but we're doing this and uh i tried to glue buttons on top of the other buttons and then i was like well maybe i need my e6000 so i got out my e6000 which will which is the glue that'll glue anything to anything 
Um, but smells bad. I don't like the way it smells. And uh, tried to glue the button onto the other button by doing that. And uh, didn't work in the end. I do it to the other button too. Didn't work. Uh, kept just sliding off. Uh, maybe it's just not good for plastic to plastic. But uh, yeah, it was it was not a good time. <clears throat> it was yeah, it was not a good time. Couldn't get it to stick. Uh, gave up on trying to get it to stick. And was just like, well, I'll just take both buttons off now. And so I have two little pink buttons there. Oh, I think I was still trying. Yeah, I was still trying to get the blue to stick. Because one of the pink buttons is raised. And uh, it, it was enough to get a thing wrapped around it. And uh, but the other side, I couldn't get a thing wrapped around it. And uh, then I decided to decorate the inside. Uh, because I'm not going to... Well, I may or may not put ephemera in it. So I wanted there to at least be something on the inside. And uh, I wanted to use this one particular... Uh, I'm working on a journal with kind of a psychedelic theme going on. And it's going to have lots of rabbits in it. Uh, because it's for my friend. And she really identifies with rabbits. So uh, it's going to make that... Um, I was looking for this one particular one, and I swear I passed it like a thousand times. But for some reason, I it took me forever to find it. And I had to flip all the way back through all of it again. But this is the antiqu and Oh my gosh, I can't speak. An antiquarian sticker book, I believe it's called. And this is the... I think this is just the original one that they have. Um, yeah, I believe this is the original that they have. I don't feel like going up and getting up and going back in my craft room and looking for it. Uh, because I'm very comfortable in my living room chair right now. So, I'm sorry. I won't be able to tell you what, what this one is. I'll be able to tell you what the next one is. Uh, this is a bunch you can't really see very well because it's I don't know why I didn't have my camera more zoomed in but uh also I just it didn't cover up a big enough space so I wanted to put more in there and uh what it is is it's a bunch of rabbits surrounding a gold egg and it just it looks it looks really cool in my opinion and uh yeah I had to peel it up because it was crooked and then uh, you got to glue these down, too, because they don't stick very well. But that's what I like about them, because I can place and replace and position it how I want it. However, when I put it back down, I actually got it more crooked than I think I initially had it, which was very annoying. But I gave up, and I was like, you know what? It's not that important. <clears throat> uh... But yeah, the, I, I use this book a lot. Like, I love the stickers that are in it. I 10 out of 10, I recommend it. <clears throat> Sorry, my, I'm getting a sore throat. I get my tonsils out this Friday. Uh, so hoping that surgery goes well. I would put a little thing of carrots because I thought that was appropriate. Um, let's see. And then I'm looking for another rabbit sticker. And there are only two more rabbit stickers in this entire book. And I used one of them, saving the other one for... I don't know, because there's going to be a lot of rabbits in here. I'm going to wait till I have, like, a blank spot. And I'm like, oh, I have to use the absolute last rabbit. Oh, this one's the Antiquarian uh, Imaginarium one. Um, you could probably go back and pause it and see what both books are, actually. Um, but the one I'm currently flipping through, the Imaginarium, um, has just some off-the-wall kind of art in it. And it's primarily what I'm going to be using for this junk journal that I'm currently working on. I'm still working on the other two junk journals that I started with you guys. Um, 
I just got bored with them and I was like, I'm going to go on to another thing because I got really excited about it. And I was like, well, I'm kind of manic. Got to funnel that energy into something. And, uh, yeah. So I, I started just working on this other one. Um, put on some Alan Watts, uh, lectures. If you know, you know, you know what those are for. Um, really good philosopher. Definitely recommend. Um, and there, you can write a lot with, uh, you know, music to them. But uh, it put me in the right headspace to make a psychedelic kind of uh, journal. I've, I, I, if you check out my Instagram, I've made quite a few things for it so far. I don't know if I've posted everything because I'm so bad at social media. Like, surely if you f subscribe to my channel here, you know I do not post regularly at all. Like, I'll be regular for a few days, and then I don't know what happens. Uh, either I get sick, because I am disabled, so I get sick, or uh, I get really just depressed, <laughs> and I don't do anything, or I get caught up doing other things, like cleaning my house. Um... But I'm trying to be more consistent with this. I'm trying to at least upload once a week. So now that I'm feeling good, I'm going to make a couple videos in a row. And uh, just keep those on my phone and then post them. So I'm just trying for at least once a week. Keep it small. Keep a small goal. See if I reach that. Also, I made a bunch of master boards today, which I didn't record because... I just didn't think about it. I was still frustrated from earlier and I should have recorded them, but I made like three master boards earlier just so I had something mindless to do. Um, so I don't know what those are going to be used for, uh, but I made three master boards and I've already forgotten my initial point of why I said I made the master boards. Oh my goodness. Um, I, uh, let's see. I think about here is when I finally gave up on the blue button because I think I touched it again and it just wobbled too bad. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm checking the camera or maybe I walked away or something. This is taking me an awfully long time to get back. Oh, um, yeah, that's when I gave up on the blue button right there. Because it wouldn't stick. It kept wobbling. So I was like, you know what? I don't even need it. Oh, I tr first I tried tying uh, some twine around it. Not like twine twine. But you know what you make friendship bracelets out of? Some of that. And uh, it looked alright. Um, but when I pulled it, uh, like I realized I couldn't get it undone. So I switched to something else. But uh, my throat is killing me. Sorry for the silence. My throat is killing me. Uh, like I said, I'm getting my tonsils taken out Friday. Uh, also, you know what would be a really cool YouTube feature? If you could schedule post the way you can schedule post on Instagram, you know? That would be so helpful like I could just go ahead and upload everything and then just set a timer for when it's going to be released that would be amazing yeah that blue button wouldn't stick uh I think I actually unplugged my light there also I think I walked across the room at this point I meant to edit this well, I didn't mean to edit this. What I mean to say is I was too lazy to edit this. So you guys are just going to have to deal with the inactivity that lasts for entirely too long. Oh my gosh, where am I? And this is at like 2x speed right now. So I tried to wrap the thread around it again, but the button was too low and it would not work.
So I ended up, uh, I ended up taking that little pink button off right there. And, uh, the one on the, I guess it would be the left. Also, I've got to work on not pulling things so close to me. It's just, it's hard because I'm used to, because I have very bad eyesight and I'm used to just holding things right up next to me so I can see them. I'm also not wearing my glasses, which does not, you know, help with my poor eyesight at all. I just, I really hate, like, I have a lot of sensory issues and I hate the way glasses feel on my face, but it's gotten to the point where my eyesight's gotten so bad, I really can't, you know, go without them. Um, but I'm still attempting because I'm stubborn or my glasses in the next video. See, and you guys can tell what a difference it makes. But yeah, I picked a different pink button, you know, ones that aren't flat, that have the little, you know, loop thing. Gotta talk fast, my thing did the thing where it didn't record all of it, and I talked too fast, and it didn't show me everything. So this is it. Please like, subscribe, and share, uh, and stay chaotic, you guys.